All right, uh, I'm Brandon Merritt, and I work here at MCS, and today we're going to go over the ASHTO T27 gradation procedures. And our first step in this is we'll get a bag of sample, and we'll split it down and dry it overnight. And once uh, the next day when we let it cool down, we'll get our sample size, which we'll find in ASHTO M43. And we'll take a first weight of it, a dry weight. We will make sure to record that. And then we'll, we will empty our sample into the sieve. Nest of sieves here are is determined by the Ashto M43 creation specs. So we have all the material in here. We'll carry it over to our Mary Ann. We'll let this shake for 10 minutes or until thoroughness of sieving is achieved. Thoroughness of sieving, the definition of it is that we can hand sieve the sieve and not have a, a half of a percent of the initial weight go through the sieve. Okay, so 10 minutes of shaking has been done. So we'll carry this over, and we'll take our initial weights of the sieves, and we'll want to make sure not to lose any material on these sieves, because we already have start weight. You want to make sure that the sieves completely clear, empty it up. So here we have a number four sieve that's overloaded, and we're going to demonstrate hand sieving. So we'll split that down, we'll make it to one layer, put it over top of the pan, put a lid on it. And the other things we can do with an overloaded sieve is we can add an interceptor sieve over this number four, which would be a quarter inch. We can split the sample down and run half of it at a time. We, this is 8 inch sieves, we can, we can just up it to a 12 inch sieve. Um, we're showing hand sieving and we can also just run a lot less of the sample. So when we hand sieve, we want to hold it down at an upward angle and you want to hit it with the heel of your, pump, heel of your hand and have 150 smacks per minute. We want to rotate this every 25.
that's 150, 150 snacks. And we'll take this out. And anything that's anything that's on the pan will be transferred down to the next sieve. So we'll go ahead and take our weight of Now that we have all of our weights taken down, we'll take our paper and do the calculations on them. And we need to make sure that through the gradation process that we didn't lose more than 0.3% of our initial weight. If you do, you have to rerun the gradation.